I greet you all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Minister Timothy Mtizwa and today I shall open the scripture from the word from the Bible from the book of Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1 and 2. So I shall start. The Bible says thus says the Lord the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool where is the house that you build unto me where is the place of my rest so as god now is 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 saying heaven is my throne the earth is my footstool where is the house that you build unto me where is the place of my rest deepi nzimbo yandicha zorora Verse number two it says, "For thus says the Lord, Behold, right." Verse number two says, "For all those things has mine hand made, all those things which have been," says the Lord. But to this man will I look. So my beloved, kuti iwo andi goni ku garamu nzimbo zese idzi ne kuti nzimbo idzi e ibasa rema wogo angu. Zikanzi asindri kutuaka munu uyo. Right. Pane zunu 3. Zicha mention wa panu ba verse number 2. Yanda utuone. Zikanzi ndino tuaka munu uyo. For. Right. But to this man who I look. Even to him number 1. That is poor. Number 2. Of con. And of conright spirit. And trembled. At my word. So these are the three requirements mwari za bari kuda kuti ndiri kutsvaka munhu uyo murombo ane moyo wakaputsika anodedera pashoko rangu unozova kana vanhu vachipa like vachi pama requirements avo kaverenga newspaper mabasa achitsvakwa uchaona kuti zvima demands evanhu akawandisa pane bachinzi maybe pari kudiwa 5 o levels pari kudiwa a level pari kudiwa ma degree pari kudiwa masters pamwe wa unacha unacho but pana apa pari kutaurwa zvino 3 zvokuti Everyone can qualify. God is looking for, and I'm looking for the one who is poor. Being poor means what? Empty. Kureva kuti munu asina kuloda zinu. Ana kuloda jealousy. Ana kuloda zinu zakaipa. Ana kuloda zivi. But is someone ane, 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 are poor in the spirit. And number two, with the contrite spirit. Ane moyo wakaputsika. Then number three, who trembles at my word. So these are the three things that God is looking for. So today I want to talk about trembling at his word or at God's word. And my question to you is are you trembling at God's word? Do you really fear the word of God? Do you really respect the word of God? Because in this world we are full of people who respect their own bishops. Some there is they respect their own churches more than they respect the word of God. If you can tell a person show a person a scripture he will tell you or she will tell you my bishop says my church says or my church i squit agree with what you are saying but truth is usu mwari vari kuti ndiri kutsvaka munhu uyo murombo ane moyo wakaputsika anodedera pashoko rangu not anodedera aona ma dikone ekuchurch not anodedera aona ma bishop e church but anodedera pashoko at my word So my question to you is are you trembling at God's word? Are you trembling at the word of God? Or unotsvaka zvinhu zvavanhu. For the Bible says in the book of Mark chapter 7 verse number 7 in vain do they worship me because they are teaching for doctrine the commandment of commandments of men. So mwari vari kuda vanhu vanodedera pashoko ravo mwari vane jealous when it comes to his word. Ndosaya mwari vaitaura muna Psalms 89 Verse number 34 says my covenant I cannot break I cannot alter the thing that has gone out of my mouth so God respects his word mwari vakaita honor his word above even his name above himself so uchaona mwari vanoremekedza shoko rao because Jesus is the word the bible says in the book of John chapter 1 verse number 1 in the beginning was the word the word was with god and the word was god Saka Bible not translate Jesus is the word and and the word is and Christ. 
So John not it kind of zakare muna Revelation chapter 19 verse 13. Say it akanga ane hanzu ya kanyikwa muropa. He had a vesture dipped in the blood and his name is called the word of God. So Jesus is the word of God and his name is the word of God. So I'm looking for the people who tremble at my word. And my question is, are you tremble at the word of God or you are trembling at the church or you are trembling at a system which is not even in the scriptures. You could even my scriptures, I must fit my scriptures. But those who are not the scriptures, but in whatever good track of anu, but not dead there, a shokorabo, whatever good track of anu, but no respecta, shokorabo, and just like Jason Torona Matthew chapter four, verse number four, as well as Luke chapter four, verse number four, say, Many shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And when the devil paka, we are gonna, 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 gonna Jesus, I don't want to tempt Jesus, I can overcome. Uh, the devil by the word of God. Anagumoti let the fire come. Anagumoti oras waka wanda wanda. But he used the greatest weapon, which is the word of God. And I can assure you that the word of God will defeat Satan any time, anywhere, at any circumstance. So shawuru kudai wewe, isho koramari. Wata ura sa Davita panu, wata ura 119 verse 11. Ya Psalms says, Ndakaviga shokure nyungari, mumo yomangu kutindirege kutazirai. So, De dera pashokura mwari. Iva munu anuchika mwari. Uchawana favor na mwari. So God is saying I'm looking for the poor. I'm looking for the co- the one with the conrad spirit. Who trembles at my word. So marindon zimbo. Yavari kudakugara iyoyo. Yavano tiyo ndika wana muna akadaro. Jinenge nda wana a comfortable place to stay. God bless you so much. Mwane nguwe kanaka.